Can we go and dig deeper about Aman Ali Khan's personal life, the routine? Okay. What's your routine like? What's your routine like during Ramadan? What What do you sort of schedule, daily schedule? If there's so, a typical day? you know, a lot of people might know I'm a very public figure. Mm-hmm. And so Ramadan is probably the most private time I have. Okay. So um, I, a lot of the activities that I do for the community and public speaking, I cut all that out. I don't travel. I don't okay. speak. I, don't, I try not to do anything in Ramadan. I, Ramadan is more for myself. Um, especially the evenings are more for myself. So if I do do something, it's 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 during the day. I'll teach a course or something like that just to feel like I'm still doing something. <laughs> um, and it'll be like limited attendance. Instead of doing a program for a thousand people or five hundred people, it'll be like twenty or thirty people or something, okay. and do it in a in a limited capacity just so I I'm still forcing myself to do something beyond just myself. Mm-hmm. Um, but I do think that Muslims should balance uh, the, the 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 tip. The scale should tip more towards what you want to do for yourself to become a better person mm. uh, and instilling better habits in this month. And yes, if you ca- have time to do other productive things for your community, be engaged, etc., etc., that's great. Mm-hmm. But really, this is the month for self-improvement. Mm-hmm. Really, ha- this is how we should look at it. Mm-hmm. And that's why you have in this, in, in this passage also, uh, first of all, it's going to be easy. It's a month of celebrating Qur'an. And then, ujibu da'wat al-da'i da'an fal-yastajibuli. You know, the, the, the passage turns to what you should personally be doing is turning to Allah more, mm-hmm. right? So, I ask myself, like, I mean, honestly, the way I spend a particular, any given day, not Ramadan, any given day, uh, what could I have been doing better, mm-hmm. right? What opportunities did I miss? Did I wake up too late? Mm-hmm. Did I, you know, did I rush through the prayer? Did I have breakfast on time? Did I get enough time to exercise, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, right? And a good balanced day, if you can create balance in a day, mm-hmm then you can replicate that the rest of your life. Mm-hmm. And that, that means a good life. So to me, a good day actually translates into a good life. Wow. And, a, and a not productive day translates into a non-productive life. Because really, at the end of the day, we, are, uh, we, we recycle our days, right? A lot of our days, they go by, a week goes by and it feels like it was just a day because it's all the same over and over again, right? So if you instill certain habits on a daily basis, mm-hmm. uh, and this is the time to do it. Shaitan's chained up. The waswasa has gone. Everybody around you is motivated. You know, Allah has given special ease to you, empowered you in ways that you wouldn't be empowered before. So it's a time to instill good spiritual habits, good personal habits, good eating habits. Eat healthy. Mm-hmm. You know, don't eat oily stuff for iftar. Yeah. You know, don't don't eat greasy stuff for so like cut that stuff down. You know, get into better shape. Unfortunately, there are some statistics in Muslim countries. Some Muslims gain the most weight in the month of Ramadan, right? <laughs> Which is like I can't, I can't fathom it. Yeah. I can't understand it. So. For me personally, that's what it's actually essentially and fundamentally about.